Hey, hey, it's Johnny. I'm chilling on my deck. I don't know, it's about, I don't know, 6 o'clock, 6.15. It's actually, the temperature's down to like 86, and I have a slight breeze out here. It feels nice. It's kind of clouding over. I got like a tenth of an inch of rain in a thunderstorm this morning. I just want to say hi, and I'm chilling, and uh, happy Father's Day to my papa on the other side this weekend, and everyone else that are fathers. Uh, Father's Day, I feel kind of left out. God never, ever blessed me with any children. But, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> What's meant to me is meant to be, right? There you go. I feel left out on Father's Day for about 10 minutes, and then got to say, well, that's the way it's supposed to be, so don't worry about it. All right, got you covered. You know what you're doing more than I do. There's a reason. But, yeah, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Have a good one. Hope you have a great weekend. Be safe. Be smart. Stay away from that Harbor Freight winch if it's on a boat trailer or any kind of trailer. <laughs> So you don't kill your grandkids, your kids. It wouldn't be good. But other than that, yeah, but yeah, that's the truth. It's Father's Day. I'm like, yeah, I feel left out. Uh, I never had kids. But it lasts about five minutes and then goes away. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Love, have a heart. Have a heart. Be safe, be smart. Be you, that person that you look at right in the mirror. Be you. You know the drill. Bunny ears to the naysayers. It's, man, it's beautiful out here now. I can't believe how nice 87 in the shade with a little breeze feels out here. When it's 95, 96 again today, and then I'm in that hot shag truck that's black. But supposedly they might be getting me a different kind of shag truck that's a... Uh, Ottawa almost new, but I don't know if it'll have air in it. What I run now is a day cab with a lift on it with a single axle, and they're talking. They're going to maybe get me a regular Ottawa shag truck, but it's only like half a cab and one little seat and no room in it and, eh, and about $350,000. <laughs> comfortable in confined spaces. I'm not really claustrophobic except in a truck. I like as much room as possible. And that day cab, two seat, 1996 Peterbilt, single axle, short little nose, six speed. I like it because I got room for my lunchbox and I got a radio. No AC, they won't let me fix it, but it's all cool. Uh, I, I had to run street legal uh, truck like that and they got one at the other plant that I do move and use once in a while, so beat up junk. But I just prefer to keep my little beater I'm used to for the last five years, you know. Why well, change stuff if it's, if I said if it's not broke, don't fucking fix it. Just fix it till it's broke. It takes a little oil, but I get the job done. I get everybody else that has to drive it. Finally make it. Hates it. I like it. I like it. Fix it till it's broke. That's what's going to freaking happen. We'll see. <laughs> I love you all. I said happy uh, Father's Day to everyone again. This weekend, be safe, be smart, and uh, tell your kids Uncle Ronnie says hi. That's what I am. I'm an Uncle Ronnie. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm Uncle Ronnie. Never had any kids, but Uncle Ronnie's pretty cool. And he's a little, yeah, he's a little different. <laughs> No bullshit artist here. You get what you look at. All right. I'll talk to you later. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. I love you. Mwah! Be safe. Be smart. Take care. God bless y'all. Just have a good weekend. Thank you. I'll be back. I'm waiting on some stuff. I got my uh, I got my welding tank argon uh, it fit, swapped out with one. I'm just waiting on my aluminum spool that'll fit my big welder and then I can hopefully it's supposed to be here tomorrow but you know how that works and then I can do the welding on my all that reinforcing on my John boat this weekend and then I can show you that but 
if it don't show up, it don't show up. You know how it works. <laughs> I love you. Uh, just be safe. Good luck. Enjoy. Enjoy out here. I, I don't know if you can hear the bird and stuff singing. You can hear my exhaust fan behind my refrigerator making noise. But it's just a computer fan, but it's a super high power one. It's before, I, you know what? Nobody's ever mentioned this in my videos. I need to take my satellite dish down. <laughs> I don't use that anymore. I haven't used that in like three years. I, had, I use NVIDIA and uh, I, I use different apps to get everything online I want. And don't pay a dime. <laughs> I need to take that down. It's blocking my view. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. But it's supposed to be like 90 again. 95, 96. First part of next week. Monday, 72. Woo, beauty. And then gradually go up. But it's all good. I said it's amazing what 87 degrees in the shade with a slight breeze is it's like. Instead of 152 in that black shag truck. But I like it. I like my old shag truck. That's my baby. Just like my old Kia car. Kia car, I think, main, went, main seal went out on or something. It's leaking oil. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to check that out this weekend, too. <laughs> I got way too many irons in the fire. <laughs> That's why I've, been, I've just been driving my old blue pickup. The Lincoln is not a work car. The Lincoln is my uh, go out on a date if I would have one and go traveling with. Don't go out in the junk and is not a work car. Okay. So here you go. People say, well, you drive your Lincoln work. No, it's not a work car. I always wanted a Lincoln my entire life. I probably got one a few years back. Well, now, geez, that's been 10 years back. I want it to last until I can't, <laughs> don't need it anymore. Or until I'm uber rich and I'll buy me a new Lincoln. Yeah, it's cool. No, that's my beauty, beauty ride. It's, don't go out in the crap and it's not a work car. But if I have someone, sometime, amazingly, if God sends me a lady friend to go out on a date, then I get the Lincoln out. So, you know how often the Lincoln's been out to go to Walmart and get groceries. <laughs> I'm honest, and I tell the truth, and it's funny, and it's the truth. It's the reality. For now, God and the angels know what they're doing. When it's the right time, they might send me someone by and say, hey, cool breeze. Till then, I'm good. Love you all. Take care. Be safe. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you later, I promise. Be you. The one you see in that mirror. Be you. Just don't hurt anybody. Okay? Ciao.